Now, when you're looking to buy a perfect home for the family, this is probably not your first pick. It's a hoarder's home, and when you look inside it, when you see really the damage, so much rubbish, you couldn't even open and close the doors or move from one room to the next. However, two Queensland brothers walked in, they saw potential, and they have transformed it into this. A stunning, stylish home from what was really a derelict building. Rob and Andrew Gray from Greyer Construction join us now from what they've called the Water Tower House in Brisbane. Good morning, fellas. We should have signed you guys up for the block. Good morning, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, Thank you very much. So it looks incredible, the transformation. Tell us initially what it was like when you walked into this home because from the outside you don't really get a real sense of what was going on behind the doors. Yeah, so basically um, Ben Wakely, our agent, said to us, guys, I have a house I know you're going to love. Um, we were a bit sceptical, didn't know what to expect. We rocked up, um, basically couldn't even walk in the house. Um, a lot of it was unseen when we purchased it. Um, so a little bit of faith was there, but we had done it a few times before, so we were just looking at the final um, finished product and, yeah, we were glad we did in the end. Yeah, we basically signed a contract that afternoon and by the, by the end of the day it was ours. And what is it that you see potential-wise in, in, in these homes? Because you've done this before. This is the second hoarder's house that you've done up. What draws you to yep. these types of properties? Well, basically, I think it's a bit of a psychological thing. Like, people see the rubbish. You know, 95% of people are ruled out straight away. So being builders, we come in. Um, we're not really competing against too many people. Um, so that's a big one for us. Um, great location in Paddington here. Um, great view. Um, so, yeah, we just look at the concentrate on what's going to be like in the end, not so much at the start. Um, go from there. Yeah, but sort of the location's key. Like, if you can work with anything there, once, once you tick off on the location, like the house, even though it's in a bad state, we can work with it. Rob and his boys have a lot of skills and leave it to them and they can turn anything around. Where do you start though? Because you've got to clear the place out initially. What's the sort of the first <laughs> well, that, port of call? That's the hardest part, you know, trying to talk someone in to go, into, go in there and actually do the clean up. That's a, a hard task, but you know, there were some guys that were willing to do so and the deal was, you know, if you find anything, you guys can have half. And funnily enough, they moved the first box and they found a full-size pool table in the middle of the living room underneath all the junk. They were stoked, so they're using it at the moment. <laughs> Tempt them with whatever you can. But are there health concerns as well yeah. that, that a lot of the, uh, the builders and, and the, the tradies who are working with you have got to contend with? Well, yeah, I think they're a bit concerned when they first have a look, but when they get in there, at the end of the day, it's just rubbish, so... We get a couple of bobcats on site and they just, the boys get in the house, they throw it out the window, the bobcats take it away. So yeah. it's not too bad. Once you start getting into it, like it's okay. It's just more of a mental thing, just trying to get the rubbish off the site. So talk us through the home itself. What are the rooms that you're most proud of? All right, well, I'm, I'm definitely, being a builder, I see plans all the time. Um, what I'm most impressed with is the architect, Dave, just the back elevation of the house. It has double street frontage, so when you're driving along that bottom street and you look up, it's just really eye-catching. So, personally, for me, that's my favourite part of the house. In the, my favourite's definitely, like, the master bedroom area. It's basically like you're in a hotel suite, sort of excluded from the rest of the house. You've got your massive bedroom, your massive walk-ins, you've got your ensuite, you've still got the views of the hills, and it's sort of a private getaway, just so the parents can have a retreat and just escape from the kids, I guess. And just quickly, you wouldn't be doing this if there wasn't a, a dollar in it for you. How much profit did you make? <laughs> oh, that's a big question. But, you know, we bought it for $750,000. Um, we di did the build. We on-sold it for $2 million. A lot of people are asking what the build cost is, but we want to keep that to ourselves. But at the end of the day, uh, we sold the house to an amazing couple. We really enjoyed doing it. So at the end of the day, we're really, really happy with the end result. Fantastic. Well, we cannot wait to see the next project you take on because they look absolutely amazing. There is some more amazing. coming. <laughs> I bet there are. You, well, when you know what you're doing, why not? Keep going on a roll. Boys, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks, guys. Jane. Thanks, Thank guys. Cheers. Cheers. Looks incredible. I wonder if they'll let me move in. <laughs>